Ah, uh, Splatoon. Splatoon is an amazing game known for its creativity, its fun game style, and its Splatfest. Oh, so many Splatfests. Have you, ever, have you ever wondered which one is the best? Well, we're going to answer that in this video. And we will only be including North American Splatfest, so the amazing front roll versus back roll won't be included. So here are the rules. Two Splatfests will compete, and the better one will make it to the next round. Easy. So first, ketchup versus mayo, and salsa versus guac. Both of these Splatfests have a pretty, pretty obvious choice, ketchup and guac. I think they're both good Splatfests. The colors both suck, and they look like colored throw-up, but I think salsa and guac is better. Now flight versus invisibility, and vampire versus werewolf. I didn't play either of these Splatfests, but based on the theme, Flight and invisibility don't have much in common. I guess they're powers, but they're not really opposites. But vampires and werewolves are rivals. I think I heard that somewhere. But that means vampire versus werewolf with a very smart theme. And flight versus invisibility was just a regular splat fest. The same could be said with sci-fi versus fantasy and sweater versus socks. Honestly, ugly, ugly Christmas socks aren't really a thing, and that's why sweater won. Sci-fi versus fantasy are polar opposites, and there is even a full Phineas and Ferb episode about it. So definitely sci-fi versus fantasy. Next is action versus comedy and money versus love. Action versus comedy is still movies, but they didn't pull it off as well as money versus love. It's pretty obvious which team is better, but I give it extra points because it was two days after Valentine's Day. So just for that, I think money versus love is better. Now for chicken versus egg and baseball versus soccer. I don't really like these flat fests because chicken versus egg has a right answer. And baseball versus soccer is just a regular sports spot fest. But if I had to pick, I would say baseball versus soccer. And no pulp versus no pulp and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle spot fest. I think the tournament idea was pretty cool. And pulp versus no pulp was my first spot fest. So it has a special place in my heart. But if you put pulp in an orange juice, you're a monster. So just for that, I say TMNT, Turtle Power. And now, squid versus octopus and fork versus fish. <gasps> fork versus fish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't compare fork versus spoon to squid versus octopus. I just can't. If you really like fork versus spoon more, I am concerned for your mental health. Next is Retro vs. Modern and Trick vs. Treat. Although Retro vs. Modern had the clout system, Trick vs. Treat had that too. And Trick vs. Treat was a genius idea because people have been doing it for years. And it's a play on words to the saying, trick or treat. We have been doing it for years, but never thought of rivaling. And this script is being written right before the Splatfest ends. So let's go Team Treat. I hope we win. But we never had the idea to fight over it. Nintendo of America, making people fight over normal things since 2015. But what about the two Christmas spot fests of 2018 slash 2019? Honestly, they just came up with that Smash Bros. spot fest to boost the sales. And the Frosty Fest should have been in December, but oh well. I didn't play much of either of those spot fests because Smash came out and I was playing that, enjoying Christmas. But if I had to choose, I would probably pick Family vs. Friends. But what about Pancake versus Waffles? Well, it was a pretty good plot fest. I'm still salty, Pancake's lost, but it was pre a pretty good plot fest. And Knight versus Wizard. I don't know, it's a fine theme, but like, it's Knight versus Wizards. I don't care, I don't know. I really don't care for this plot fest, so I guess Pancake versus Waffles wins. So now Spring Fest. Let's talk about Springfest. So I wasn't really expected to be an Easter Splatfest, but it was on Easter Day, which I'm still salty about a year later, but it was a pretty good Splatfest. There, but Hair won, and the entire Splatoon 2 community went crazy, as they should. And let's talk about time travel versus teleportation. The coolest Splatfest ever. Honestly, it was a pretty fun one. This one's going to get bonus points for the future VN series by Viantastic because that was a great series. I love that. That was so um, satisfying to watch during like May of 2019. 
But, um, I digress. I was going to do Spring Fest for this, but Tortoise lost, so let's go time travel versus teleportation. <laughs> oh, jeez. I really don't want to do this, because the colors to Unicorn versus Narwhal are amazing, and the title Corn is an amazing title, but they should know who they're going against. Chaos versus Order. The Nintendo World Championships won. The one that lasted three days straight, and I sat in my room without dinner, breakfast, or any bra- bathroom breaks. And they went totally overboard for this Splatfest. They gave us a whole new update for this, and every shifty station was available for this Splatfest. And the final day. Oh, the final day. We were able to play on MC Princess Diaries. And oh god, it's the one minute mark. Gotta get to the middle of the stage. But you know what? Just for the walls, I'm going Unicorn versus Nar. You didn't think I was actually going to say that. Get fooled, or I guess you could say, get tricked. Wait, I'm on Team Treat. Happy Splatoween, everybody, and I hope you're losing all your battles. That message was only for Team Trick. Make sure to give the enemy team lots of treats during this Splatfest, and of course, by treats, I mean bombs. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. Peace. But what about the holiday Splatfest of 2018 slash 2019? They should have just come up with that Splat... They have just come up with that... Sm- oh, God, it's the one minute mark! Gotta get to the middle! That was horrible. Gotta get to the middle of the stage! Oh, damn it. So it wasn't really expected to be an Easter plot. Plus, what? <laughs>